I have a different type of video for you all. I haven't put out a bullet journal video in a while because I haven't been bullet journaling at all this year. And in an effort to get back into the habit and to keep myself accountable, I'm gonna try to make more of these types of videos. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Also, I'm sorry that this video is released a little bit late. I know bullet journal videos typically get released before the first of the month, but I simply overestimated my own capabilities and trying to decorate this bullet journal with illustrations ended up taking a lot longer than I thought, but I thought better late than never. For this bullet journal spread, I decided to go back to basics and use a plain hardcover dotted notebook that I found on Amazon. I also used a mechanical pencil from Muji and several different erasers to help with planning out my layouts since like I said before, I'm still a novice at design. And lastly, I tried out an erasable black pen from Pilot, which was a pleasant surprise and also great for someone like me who tends to make a lot of mistakes. I will leave links for these supplies in the video description if you want to pick up any for yourself. I normally dreaded doing the cover pages for bullet journals because other than looking pretty, I didn't think they served any major functional purpose. But when I was looking through YouTube and Pinterest for inspiration, I suddenly understood why so many people take the time to create a cover page that they are proud of. It's a great way to start off the month on the right foot and to just take pride in your craftsmanship. In the past, I saw bullet journaling as a necessity that I had to quickly get through before I started my day. But throughout this process, I finally realized the joy in just taking your time to draw and play inside the bullet journal. And it doesn't always have to be a work-focused to-do list. It can also be a fun place where you can slow down and start your day off with a dose of creativity and patience. I wanted to kick off the month with a brainstorm page where I can freely jot down ideas for art and videos that randomly pop up in my head throughout the month. My two main goals in getting back into bullet journaling in the first place were to improve my time management skills and also to practice expanding my creativity. That's why I wanted to make my bullet journal an aesthetically pleasing space that made me excited to write in it each day. Instead of just viewing the journal as a to-do list or planner, I wanted it to embody and spark the creative spirit. So even though this cloud and rain design took me a while to draw, I am so much more inspired now to stop and write on this page than if it was just a blank list. <sighs> This two-page calendar layout probably took me the most time of all. I really, really need to practice my design skills more because it took me around three to four different attempts to land on a calendar layout that looked slightly aesthetically pleasing to me. Even now, I'm not super satisfied with it, but I basically cycled through decorating the calendar with many different motifs, such as crystals, um, ice cream and dessert, and I finally landed on poppies because I couldn't think of anything else. Even though I don't feel like poppies necessarily fit the theme or the feel I was going for the best. Um, but anyways, I also decided to make the Saturday and Sunday columns narrower than Monday through Friday because I normally have less things to do on the weekends. And also this will help me encourage myself to take more time off on the weekends to better improve my work-life balance. And on the right side of the calendar, I created a space for me to jot down any important dates for events or deadlines. I was most excited about this page because the habit tracker was so crucial in holding myself accountable to maintain good habits, both in terms of work items and also my overall health and wellness. I separated my list of habits into two sections. The top is for daily life habits, such as adhering to a better sleep schedule, which we all know I have to work on, uh, remembering to stretch because sitting all day is terrible for my posture and my legs, and you know, just keeping track of my spending and budget and things like that. 
The bottom section is for my work habits, such as remembering to post consistently on social media, uh, making sure I have a more balanced work day with different tasks instead of just letting some tasks fall to the side when things get busy. Um, I basically keep this page fairly simple and minimal so that I can focus more on the content, but also, to be honest, I just couldn't think of a more creative or artsy way to render this page, so we'll just say it was minimal on purpose. I nicknamed this page the Progress Tracker page because it keeps my momentum up with making progress on longer deadlines for artwork and videos. So one of my bad work habits that I'm aiming to fix is that sometimes I will go through phases of procrastinating or wasting time and then bunch up all of my work during a crazy chaotic work sprint at the end of the month. And with this page, I'm hoping to set up a more consistent and healthier pace and to just avoid procrastinating in general. So the top section lays out all of the paintings that I hope to finish this month with each painting represented by rectangles. And I will fill in the rectangles as I make progress on each step of each piece. The bottom section tracks all the videos I hope to finish this month with a progress bar for each video that I will also fill in as I complete the different stages of filming, editing, and publishing the videos. And finally, after three days of working on this bullet journal that was only supposed to take me one day, we finally have arrived at the last section, which is my weekly slash daily spread. I decided I wanted to be able to see the entire week at once because sometimes I will have tasks that I won't get around to finishing in just one day, but will instead roll over to the next day. And instead of constantly rewriting these items every single time I wake up, it's easier for me to just open my weekly spread and pick up where I left off from the previous day's unfinished work. Also, I feel like planning my work items on a weekly basis makes a lot more sense than planning items on a daily basis because several projects take more than just one day such as this bullet journal video, for example. And like my monthly calendar, I reduce the size of my weekend boxes because I'm trying to trick myself into actually relaxing during the weekend. But I decorated this page with a Chinese style mountain landscape and a quote from one of my favorite artists, Chuck Close. And the quote says, inspiration is for amateurs. The rest of us just show up and get to work. And this attitude deeply resonated with me because I think that inspiration is just like any other discipline. We need to constantly practice in order to improve. And instead of just waiting around for inspiration to magically appear in front of us, and then using the lack of inspiration as an excuse to be lazy or to procrastinate, we really need to have the self-discipline to still be productive and get stuff done. And I think during that process of working, we are actually giving ourselves more opportunities to feel inspired, and then we end up becoming inspired more often. To me, it's just a nice little reminder every time I glance at my bullet journal. And I actually plan on writing a new inspirational quote every week. So if you guys have any favorite quotes that motivate or inspire you, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. And that about wraps up my new and improved bullet journal layout for this month. I am still not a pro at organizing or designing these types of planners yet, but it's definitely something that I found to be super helpful, especially for people who are self-employed. And hopefully it's something that I can get better at with more practice. Um, I hope this video was helpful in some small way to you guys and that it gave you a little bit of encouragement if you were looking into bullet journaling for yourself. Oh, and real quick before I end the video, I just wanted to remind you guys that I'm still running my summer print sale. So if you want to get 20% off your print orders from my shop, just enter the code sunshine at happyd-artist.com and the sale will end July 31st. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and so much more, all available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!